Hey everybody, this is the finished product of two videos ago, and um, I am amazed at how much it turned out looking like that other one. Like, I'm still shocked. Um, and I sold that to somebody, and I did a resin on it, and I videoed the resin. I cannot remember who bought that piece so if it was you I'd love for you to send me a good photo of it so I can put it next to this so I can actually see if they do look quite similar um check out these cells remember at the end I was like oh I don't know I'll let it dry I'm not sure how I feel well I'm really glad that I let it dry it's way cool and this one on the other hand <laughs> is completely x-rated um there are things in here that i can't not see when i look at it um so unless one of you out there would like to purchase this um i will probably do something else with it <laughs> oh my gosh and if you don't see it then you have a much cleaner mind than I. Um, but any of you who have hung out with my family, you know that uh, nothing is taboo. So, <laughs> yeah. Anywho, let's get on with today's painting. So today's painting is like a mishmash of a bunch of stuff I don't think is going to work. I have recently, um, J.D. Perret is who did the alcohol ink collage that I bought that I showed you guys. And she's the one that I based my collages off of. And then today I was looking at um, uh, Monteith, uh, Jane Monteith. I believe it is. I should know because I have been crushing on her all day long, watching her YouTube videos on alcohol inks. Um, and I now have a ginormous shopping cart on Amazon full of alcohol inks and all the tools for it. So <laughs> I, hopefully I like it because I'm, you know, dumping some money in it, but it looks like so much fun. Um, so, I don't have any alcohol inks. I have never purchased any alcohol inks. I have purchased this, which I am still yet to figure out what to do with. I've tried it in pores and in resin. Um, still can't figure out really what to do with it. Uh, I mean, there's some that are like the blue, t <laughs> and then tonight, I was like, well, I, I have 70% alcohol. So I put in this mister and I tried to do it with Yupo, the Dr. PH Martin and this, oh my God, it was like such a disaster. It sort of started to work, but not really. And in the press, <laughs> and because I can't do anything like the normal right way, um, I was sitting on the floor and I had opened one of the, the, um, I had opened the blue one of this and I was going to use these to, you know, take it out. But then at the same time I, re but so then I'm spritzing the paper and I'm like, this alcohol is coming out really weird. Well, I realized the one I was spritzing had silicone in it, not alcohol. So I spritzed my entire Yupo paper with silicone. So then I got new Yupo paper and then I had to fill up a new one of these with alcohol. Meanwhile, I'm still holding this and just dumped it <laughs> just on the, on the floor. But yeah, so hopefully once I get all the right supplies it will go a lot better but in the meantime i have the spritzer full of alcohol and i'm going to do my pour and spritz it and then do my 
stuff and see what happens. A long, 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 long time ago, I did a pour with alcohol. And at the time, I despised it, hated it. Um, but I kept it for some reason. I don't know why. It was a large one. It's 20 by 20. And it now hangs in my bathroom. And I absolutely love it. So I'm glad I kept it. I hated it for the longest time. And then I looked at it one day and just saw beauty. And now that's all I see when I see it. Um, I will try and look back and see what video that is so I can tag it on this one. So anywho, I've got Artist Loft Ultramarine. Which I like because it makes me think of boating and like the Ozarks where we go every year. Uh, then I got Artist Loft Aqua Green. And then I have Liquitex Basic Dioxazine Purple. You know what, instead of spritzing the canvas, I'm gonna spritz in here. I don't know if it'll do anything at all. Let's see, can you see? I don't even know if you can see. So it did do a little something. It made it all weirdly fragmented, which is what it did to the painting that's in my bathroom. It made, it made all the edges blurry. Like that's the best description I can give. No clean lines or anything, just blurs. And this is a five by five inch canvas. But last night I ordered more stuff on Amazon. Um, what did I order? Oh, I ordered some cradled wood that is on my Amazon list in my descriptions. You can find what I use. Um, I ordered something else art related. I can't remember what it was. Oh, it wasn't art related. It was, I'm addicted to, um, Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty. Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty. It is putty. Um, and because I have like a nasty habit of picking up my fingers, like if I'm watching TV or whatever. And now I don't because I play with this putty. And I use it even at meetings and stuff. Um, it's amazing. I like the hypercolor one. But it's seriously like... I can see why fidget toys are popular because I think I've talked about this crazy errand before because it sounds familiar as I'm saying it, but that's what I bought. My husband's like, don't you have enough? But you know, there's all so many different colors that some days I don't want the red putty. I want the purple putty. <laughs> It's a harmless addiction. Oh, I gotta grab my paper towels. So I did get around to answering um, my last four videos, five videos, six, something. I got around to replying to a bunch of them. Um, and I read everyone's comments. Oh my gosh, you guys are all so loving and warm and kind and I just had warm fuzzies as I read so many of your messages and so many of you have a lot of wisdom <laughs> you, you guys would say things that you know really clicked in my head and I, I appreciate that I'm just gonna spritz more because why the heck not Oh my goodness, look at that. Check it out, weird fragmented cells. I wonder what happens if I torch. Is it gonna catch fire? Uh, there's probably because there's no 
fuel in there. <laughs> Ooh, it is very watery though from the alcohol. I should have used tequila. I hate tequila. I worked at a Mexican restaurant and um, they're known for their tequilas collection. And when we would have vendors out and tasters, I always would give my samples to whoever was sitting next to me. I do not like tequila. It's nasty. And I know, good tequila is sipping tequila, it's, but no. But I think the worst alcohol is my husband likes smoky whiskey. And I hate the smell of like smoky stuff. Ugh, I can smell it like if he's in the next room, it's so gross. So it does look, see how the edges are kind of um, blurry, faded. I mean, there's also way too much color. It needs something else. It needs more white somewhere. I don't really like any of it. Well, that's not true. I do like some of it. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add processed magenta. And then I'm gonna add some white. Ooh, this is probably too much. It's all like weird from the alcohol. Oh, there's so much paint on this. It's so weird. This is kind of cool. That's pretty awesome. How much paint is? Ooh, not much. Let me put the lid on back onto the white so I can. Should have uh, scraped that off. There are some interesting things going on in here that I don't usually see, so I'm attributing it to the alcohol. Oh no! <laughs> this keeps lasting, it's like Hanukkah. Will the oil last? And it lasted for eight days, but I don't think I have eight days left in that. I don't even think I have, um, I was going to say eight paintings left, but that would be about eight days. Okay. I said, oh no to those, but I like this. I really, really like this. I'll show you up close, but right here is my favorite. 
I like it and I'm keeping it. Still sitting there, still sticky. <laughs> and there's my messed up, because then I sprayed alcohol and tried to wipe the whole thing off. Okay, let me focus you. Whoa, focus. That is so cool looking. Look at all these cool parts to this. Isn't that awesome? So, I mean, maybe it's the alcohol. Those of you that have used alcohol with your pores, let me know what you think. Um, but it's pretty cool. And as for this... I think when I get my new canister, I'm going to buy a new um, uh, starter um, because that one's kind of, well, you can see it. And I think I'm going to sign my name and put it on my mantle. It's kind of cool. It has like two years worth of paint on it. All right, so say goodbye to the painting. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye.